Welcome back to Squawk Box. A big beat for ADP uh, for the May payroll estimate of the private sector up 278,000. And that is a uh, huge increase from what the estimate was of 180,000. <clears> you can see right there the good sector 110, service sector 168,000. And the uh, non farm payroll estimate for Friday, which includes government and private sector, is 188,000. So ADP pointing to it's not always accurate or, or right on, but it is pointing to a beat coming on Friday. Let's look at how it happens. Small business powering ahead up 235,000, medium sized businesses 140,000, and large businesses down 106,000. They have been doing quite a bit of hiring, so not surprising to see some let up right there. And then you look at how the by sector and you see it's leisure and hospitality, 208,000. So the bulk of all of the hiring came again in the leisure and hospitality business. Uh, that uh, sector is still down below where it was before the pandemic by four or five hundred thousand jobs. So there's still work to be done there. Construction sector, 64,000. Education and health services down 29. That had been an area that, that, that had been a source of strength. Financial activities, you've heard about layoffs in that sector. And manufacturing also struggling. We'll get the ISM manufacturing uh, at 10 o'clock today. We'll see how that too has been down several months in a row. Uh, when it comes to the median change in pay, um, wages have been coming off. The uh, uh, average increase for a person staying in their job, 6.5%, one of the lowest ones we've had in quite a while, down two tenths. And job changers, uh, up 12%. That is also down from the prior month. I just want to give you one other piece of data from a different source. We follow some of the high-frequency data from UKG. They're a human resource uh, software company. They're saying they see job strength. This month, we saw labor market strength across every sector, they said. This certainly indicates the underlying labor market remains extraordinarily tight, and we didn't see any pockets of weakness uh, throughout the month. And I just want to check while we're here, guys, I'll toss it back to you, Joe. Um, we're still running, and we'll talk about this again, I guess, at 830 uh, after the data. It's, it's not really much of a change, but a 33% chance now of that rate hike. It had been 70% before the uh, Fed officials yesterday started talking about a skip. Joe? Once again, I was just <clears throat> struck by how I was reacting to that. It's like, oh, my God, great hiring. Bad. Oh, but no one's making the not, the raises are, are moderating. They're not making more money. Oh, that's good. I mean, everything I'm hoping for is like we should be hoping for the reverse, but we can't. We know the world we live in. I got it. How about Steve? The we had Lavornia saying that there's no diversity on the Fed. Maybe not when they vote, uh, when push comes to shove. But leading up to it, they're all over the place. We had Mester yesterday where we went up to 70 percent because she's, she's not a voting member, but she was implying that there was no reason to, 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 uh, to pause. And then, you know, within hours, two other Fed heads said it's time to skip. Now, this number comes out. I figure someone's going to come out today and say, oh, we, gotta, we definitely got to go up again. We're, get, we're getting buffeted back and forth. I. Uh Joe, I'll answer that with a little bit of context. You remember we did a report, I don't know, a few months ago, maybe a couple weeks ago. I don't know how long ago it was. We looked at the number of dissents under Powell, and it's about half the number of dissents that they had under Bernanke, Yellen, and Greenspan. Hmm. Uh, only 3% uh, dissents of all the votes. The other guys were up at 7 or 8 or 8%. 8 we can find that chart again uh, for another day. But anyway, much less dissent. Right now, we're going through what I think to be the biggest divergence of opinion on the Fed that we've had since at least the pandemic began and maybe uh, uh, during the whole Powell uh, uh, tenure here. Um, I, you'll remember I reported on Monday the idea that it looked like the Fed was going to hike again, even uh, that the pause was in peril was the title of my hit on Monday. And that's because uh, you had all of these guys out there like Mester saying, hey, we yeah. might be uh, we need, need to hike again. And now you have the two. The thing right. you have to think about, we'll come back and talk about this later, is Jefferson, the vice chair nominee, is he now talking for the chair? Save that Monday report for after the job number tomorrow, Steve. We may need to bring that back. Because <laughs> we, right. we may go right, we may make the round trip back to 70 Great point. By, by tomorrow, don't you think? If it's if it's anything uh, like we, the we, we could report. if there's if there's if there's more strength, if there's a strong wage growth, it's a really good point, Joe.